Well, following in the footsteps of James Locke and also George Lee, the ATC have produced another fine young talent, an emerging youngster by the name of Owen Shea. I caught up with Owen to find out his story. Now, well, unlike James Locke and George Lee, who come from very strong harness racing backgrounds, you're a newcomer to the sport. Yeah, um, I don't have any family in the sport, and but I always had riding ponies and at home and always liked horses and uh, it was only about six years ago dad he's good mates with Mick Sullivan and um, yeah he sort of just asked if I could come in just see what it's all about and started going in and I liked it went in a bit more than when I turned 14 I got my stable land license and started driving track work and all that and it's pretty good and eventually got my trial license and now we're here so it's been a good journey. Yeah, Dad Simon works in a in plumbing industry, and, and Mum Christy, first of all, how did they take it? The fact that you wanted to uh, have a change of course with your career. Oh, I think they were, they were all on board with it. They, I don't think they really thought I was going to get this far with it, and I just, yeah, it's been good. Your sister Sienna, she's involved in netball. Yeah, she plays a bit of netball, and yeah. So let's have a look at your career as far as today, as you mentioned. No mini trots like most of them. You've gone straight into uh, the big horses. Yeah, I didn't really get involved in the mini trots. I, was, I sort of started when I was a bit older, but um, it would have been good to do the mini trots. Probably would have taught me a lot, but no, it's been it's been good. Over the past 12 months, though, and how many trial drives have you had? Uh, I've had, I did 20 trial drives. I think I did a couple more, and I got me race race license, and I've had about seven drives now, so it's been good. What's been your best result? Uh, full of wisdom at Wagga a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, she ran second. Yeah, she went good. Big thrill? Yeah, it was good. Um, run second, yeah, it's a good thrill. So working with Mick Sullivan, a former Canberra Raider, no doubt he's told you about his career and how many tries he scored and how they went from two metres to 50 metres. Yeah, he always likes to tell us how good a footballer he is. And, yeah. So how many horses would Mick have? Uh, I've only got about six in there at the moment. Um, yeah, he bought, just bought a couple in from the paddock, starting to get them going, so it's been good. You must be inspired and encouraged by the way Jimmy's performed, but also how quickly George has taken to uh, harness racing and driving winners. Yeah, they're both good inspirations. Jimmy, obviously, he's, um, he's driven heaps of winners, and when he came to Canberra, he drove heaps of winners that season, and you sort of look up to him a bit. And Obviously, George, he's starting to drive really good. Yeah. Are you still going to college? Yeah, I'm in year 11 um, at Lake G. It's sort of a more of a sporting school. You could probably say I'm more there on the social side and the sports, but it um, works out pretty good, though. Um, most days I finish at 1 o'clock, so I just go to the stables after school, and other days I don't start till 12 o'clock, so, yeah, works out pretty good. You don't talk about your rugby league career at the moment, but as far as harness racing is concerned, do you have any idols or anyone that you've looked up to so far? Oh, probably Luke McCarthy. I'll yeah, he's a good driver and trainer and you sort of look up to those sort of older people, yeah. Now, your rugby league, you play for the Northern Canberra Bears, you're a 5'8", and you're coming off a big win. Yeah, I um, play for the Bears, been playing for them for about 12 years, so I always liked my footy and, yeah, we played last night, um, 140-10, so we played good. Did you score them or set them up? No, oh, didn't score, set, set up a couple, so... Yeah. So when it comes to rugby league, who do you follow? Uh, I follow South Sydney. <laughs> South? Yeah. I'll introduce you to Glenn McAlee later. <laughs> yeah. Who's your favourite player for South? Oh, Cameron Murray. He's, he's a good player to watch. Yeah, I like him. I like the way he plays. Rugby league in general, you, you stick with the Cams. You like Cam Munster as your favourite all-time player. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a good player. He's a good 5'8 to watch. And, yeah. When Stephen Lee, a noted trainer in his own right, started out with Jimmy Locke and, and George Lee, he told them both to enjoy themselves, do your best, and if you make a mistake, learn. And I suppose Mick Sullivan would be very similar. Yeah, he's pretty similar words. He's always gives good advice to me. And same with Steve, Steve and Jim. They always just help me out a bit, tell me if I do something wrong, and yeah, they've been, they've been good to me. Pretty tight-knit group, you camera mob. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been good to catch up with you. When are you going to be driving next? Uh, I think young in a couple of weeks.
Well, I hope Mick has a horse ready to win and he puts you on and you start your career on a successful note following the footsteps of Jimmy and George and we're going to be looking at your career unfold with a great deal of interest. Yeah, hopefully we'll get that first winner soon, but yeah, it'll be good.